Hey, so DIY Backyard Farms is going in the kitchen. I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't grow this acorn squash out in the yard this year. Uh, there's only so much space. you got to choose what you want to grow. So I got this at the local market instead. But I want to show you something really cool, great recipe. You can grow these in your garden and bring them into the kitchen here. So if you, as you can see, I've already cut the ends off this. I made this super quick and easy. Some of the stuff is prepped. This will take you five minutes of prep time and 20 minutes of oven time and you'll have something really delicious. It'll almost taste like dessert. So, egg corn squash, try to get organic. I'm gonna bring it over here to the cutting board. Now you notice I cut the ends off it for two reasons. One, the ends aren't as good, they're not as edible. And number two, it's a lot easier to cut. See that, it doesn't roll around. Imagine trying to cut this rolling all over the board. A little dangerous. Sharp knife, cut it in half. You're going to scoop your seeds out. I find a smaller knife. Like this will help. We're going to lay our egg corn squash, squashes. Uh, probably not proper English. We're going to lay them down and watch how we cut. Keep our hands away from the knife. You want to cut nice quarter inch pieces. All the way through. I see a little piece of rotten on the end there I'm going to take care of. And by the way, you can use the seeds and roast them like pumpkin seeds. A little bit of salt, super simple, or you can season them with cumin or your other favorite types of spices. Really good. You don't have to go heavy on the salt. Either. Our soldier's all lined up on a nice greased pan. You can butter it. Pam, if you're really trying to watch your calories, Pam is better. Olive oil, not as good. I would stick with either butter or a nonstick spray like Pam. In here, we've got a mixture. This is simple. It's two tablespoons of butter, a tablespoon of olive oil to help give it a little extra liquidity, right? Some cardamom, one teaspoon, maple syrup, a tablespoon, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and I'm gonna sprinkle some salt on the end. Real simple, you melt your butter, mix in your cardamom and your, cardamom and your vanilla and maple syrup, okay? Just like out in the garden, I try to keep this stuff simple. Let's not go with something that's gonna stress us out or make us take all day. This is supposed to be a super quick and easy recipe. So you want to brush both sides. Okay. I already brushed the other sides while you guys weren't looking. You're going to brush them up. Again, you don't have to take a million years, but you want to get enough on there to make sure the flavor gets in. And then the salt that you sprinkle on top is going to really bring up the flavor. So in the meantime, get your oven hot. 425, you know, even 450. You're going to get these in the oven for 10 minutes, pull them out, flip them. Another 10 minutes, they should be browned on both sides, like a nice caramelized finish on both sides. If that's not long enough, every oven varies. You might have cut them a little thicker. As you can see, some of these are thicker. Just keep checking them, okay? And, you know, use your best judgment. But they shouldn't be tough. They should be really soft and wonderful. We're going to sprinkle on some sea salt and say sayonara and get these in the oven. Thanks.